Hi, I'm Nathan from Py3G and today I will show you how to stream data from a sensor to a web server running on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. You can find all the code for this project in the GitHub repository that I linked below. So without any further ado, let's start by setting up the sensor. For this project, I decided to use the ADXL343 accelerometer because there's a circuit Python library that we can use under MicroPython. We will set up our Pico W so that it can run any circuit Python library. Of course, the first step is to connect your sensor to the Pico W. I'm using the I2C interface of the ADXL343. After the sensor is connected, we need to set up our MicroPython so that we can run circuit Python extensions and we need to copy the code for our project onto the Pico W. Flash the MicroPython firmware onto your Pico W and then open up the Thony IDE. Set the interpreter to MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico and the Pico should automatically connect to your Thony IDE. Then under View select Files to show the file system of your Raspberry Pi and your Raspberry Pi Pico W on the left side. Now download our Pico W GitHub repository onto your Raspberry Pi and unzip it. Then navigate to Downloads Pico W Main MicroPython Number 2 Pico W Sensor Server and copy the content onto your Raspberry Pi Pico W. It might take a moment to copy over the lib folder since it contains lots of libraries. Among those libraries are the Adafruit Blinker and Platform Detect libraries which ensure that our code runs on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. Also you can see the Adafruit ADXL34X Python library. This is only needed for this specific sensor. If you are using a different sensor then you should check out if you can find a Python library for it. Let's have a look at the code. First open up the secrets.py file. It contains a dictionary called secrets. Enter your Wi-Fi name and password and save the file. Next we have the index.html which contains a very simple HTML page. The accx, accy, accz and dice well strings will later be replaced by sensor data. Finally we've got the main.py file. It contains lots of imports to connect our Pico W to the sensor and to the Wi-Fi. We initialize an I2C object, create our accelerometer and enable the tap detection. Then we connect to the Wi-Fi using the SSID and password stored in the secrets.py file. If the connection was successful, the onboard LED will blink three times. In case of an error, the amount of blinks will be equal to the error code. We define a function that loads our HTML page as a string and we set the initial values for data and the dice value. The acceleration data in x, y and z direction will later be displayed on the website. The dice value is a number from 1 to 6 that will be randomly set whenever the sensor is tapped. We create a socket and listen for incoming connections. If somebody connects to the server, we load the HTML page and substitute the ACCX, ACCY and ACCZ by the acceleration values. In case the sensor was tapped, we also replace the dice well by a number from 1 to 6. Then we send the string as a response. The HTML page is configured to refresh every second so that the sensor data will be updated. Now we can run the example. Select the main.py file and click the run button. The Pico W will connect to the Wi-Fi after a couple of seconds and print the IP address. Copy the IP address into your browser to connect to the website. If everything went well, you will see the sensor data getting updated every second. And if you tap the sensor, there will be a new dice value. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel as we will post videos like this on a weekly basis. Also, check out our store by zero to pick up everything you need for your Raspberry Pi projects.